Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. This is WR around Abu Dhabi, second last race of the season. And today we can wrap up the championship. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna try and get into Q2 on intermediates. And the reason for that is because there are five people who have retired from the session. As you can see there, Duncan Hovland actually set a uh, lap time on the softs. Um, but yeah. A lot of people uh, wanting to do a last first challenge there and that means we can do three new tire runs in Q2 Abu Dhabi not my favorite track mainly because of the potholes um, that we have on this track on this game um, other than that I love the layout and usually good racing around here it's just the potholes make it awful um, but yeah we uh, have to try and uh, find a way around them here in Q2. This is our uh, first proper slick tire lap and it is on new tires as well. So into the next chicane we go. Always important to break as late as possible and get good rotation. Um, that's super important on this game to get good rotation around tight corners. Because that's where most of the lap time is. Into the final sector we go then. 52.295 uh, split, which is pretty good. Uh, looking at um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 perhaps. You can see Duncan Hovland do a 0.7 in Q1. So if we do a 0.1 as a first lap, that will be great already. Um, but it all depends on this last sector, as that is the longest sector. And it's also the one where you can find the most time. So through the last corner we go. And it is going to be a 21.4, actually, uh, a lot slower than I initially thought. But that is simply because the last sector was not that good. So, um, we need to find some time here in uh, Q2. And across the line we go, it is a 0.2 now. And P4. And we can go again for the, for the last Q2 lap. Um, and we will do that, because we've got the tires anyway. We didn't use slicks in Q1. So we can use three sets in Q2 and two sets in Q3. Not a great yeah, first right. corner there for us. Um, we definitely lost a bit of time, at least half attempt, considering there is track improvement as well. 0.165 first sector, which is not bad to be honest. Um, ideal Q3 pole first sector lap, whatever you want to call it, um, would be a 0.0. So we are around half a tenth to a tenth away from that, um, which, um, yeah, no one I reckon is doing a point zero in Q2 anyway. Um, through this game we go, almost a one ten improvement, so that was really good. And now we go into the final sector where, as I said earlier on, in Q2 is most of the time to find it's a point one four three split this time. And yeah, the last sector could be like a point eight, point seven, point nine. Um, but yeah, as, as a banker we only did like a point two, so that's like four tenths off and that's why our banker level is so much slower. And thus far, this has not been a great last sector as well, relative to our previous um, fastest Q2 lap, but we're going to go across the line and we are going to improve by half a tenth and it will get us Honk into lap. P4, as you can hear me say. Honk lap, not happy with it. Uh, it was a bit messy, messy turn one, messy last sector. So loads of time to find here um, as we head into Q3. Shanaka Clay, Ruben Pedreno, Ben Sabo, Connie and Philip Preysen are out in Q2. I don't know who was in P15 actually. Um, but yeah, at least we made it through by like 8 one hundredths of a second. Uh, lots of time to find for Q3. And as we go into Q3, it's a 52.070 split going into the last. And that means another 700 improvements to our last lap in Q2. And also, there was a lot of time to fight in the final sector. I was not in a nice flow in my Q2 lap in the final sector. A little bit of understeer there as I exited that curb. As Luke Smith goes to provisional pole position with a 20.818. We come across the line and it's going to be a 121.018. And that puts us P4 at the moment. But... We're definitely going to have to improve on that um, by at least a tenth. Well, at least two tenths if we want pole position. But to be honest, 
I don't think I can do a 20.8 at the moment, at least a low point eight. so we're gonna have to fight for P2 here, I reckon, um, but of course we're gonna absolutely send it. Again, half a tenth loss in the first sector, which is no ideal. Uh, I'm not enjoying riding those curves in uh, the first corner, but uh, the banker first sector was really good. You can see it's still a 0 0.131 first sector, so yeah, the banker first sector was really good already. But we have to find time now. We're 700 down on our previous lap. And we're going to have to absolutely send it to improve now. Because 700 is a lot on this grid. Through the chicane we go. And it is half a ten improvement. A little bit of a wiggle on the exit. And you can see it instantly costs us momentum. And that's again like half a ten loss. It's just so frustrating. Into the final sector we go. Um, slower than last time around of course. But this is where all the time is. The last sector is where we can improve the most for sure and through the hotel section we're gonna go in a second through the right and important to get the rotation to set up this corner this is where i got understair last time around and now it grips up nicely you can see it's an instant 1.3 tenths gain and now we need to try and gain even more through the final corner good rotation once again another few hundreds gain across the line we go it is p4 and crucially final corner clutch Ahead of our championship rivals, Thomas Ronhar and Ismail Fassi. We are currently 29 points ahead of Thomas Ronhar in the championship, who is P2. Um, and we are 36 points ahead of Ismail Fassi in the championship. So we're going to have to wait and see how this race pans out. But we can win the championship. It is lights out. And away we go. We're starting on the hard combine of tires. And we straight away got Ismail Fassi in turn one on our inside. And I did not want to let him go instantly there. Um, not giving this up that easily. Um, of course, he is on the softs and he's going to be a lot faster in these opening few laps. As we go into the next left-hander, we're going to break deep into the corner. We can see he has so much more grip. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of people on the softs. A lot of people on the hards. And we're going to try and overtake Valentin Brufer into the next chicane. And have a little look down the inside of Ismail Fassi again. As I said, not letting him go that easily as we go through the next chicane. Um, you can see how much more grip he has so early on. But Tyra is quite high around here, so let's see um, if he can hold on to the softs in the rest of the stint. We got Tom Manley in P2 on the mediums. Um, and I think the leader is on mediums as well, or on softs, I'm not sure. But it's going to be very tough to stay in that one second window in the first few laps here. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see if we can. Ideally we do because then we get pulled along in the rest of the stint but you can see the gap is getting quite big already and we might have to give up on this one because Valentin Brew from the same strategy, strategy as us behind us on the hearts. Thomas Ronard on the hearts as well, our championship rival and yeah we just need to be 27 points ahead going into the final round. Um, we're currently 29 points ahead of Thomas, so yeah, in case Thomas finishes P4, I finish P5, we win the title, depending on what Ismail does again, so it's a bit complicated, um, but yeah, we just need a 27 point lead, both to Ismail and to Thomas in the championship after finishing this race, in order to win the title, so... Let's see if we can pull it off. And uh, now we got Ruben Pedreno on the sauce behind us. <sighs> Again, there's not much we can do. We can fight this to the bitter end, but fighting them. we would just ruin their race. And there's a big chance we would ruin our own race as well. And we got Thomas behind us on the heart, so I'm not in too much of a hurry. And I'm kind of just chilling behind them, just saving uh, my tires a little bit because. After those three laps, the hearts and the softs were quite similar already anyway. And in lap 7 now, we're going to try and get, start getting past them again. Because the softs are starting to drop off. So, we're going to turn on the overtake button here. Behind Ruben Pedreno. And go on the attack into the next UK. You can see Ruben using his battery as well. And now, we're going to go three wide into the next UK. to oh, avoid. Sorry, Iker. Um driving into the back of Tanas there. Uh, we did get two moves done, but we did shove Ika a little bit of track. Luckily, he didn't lose any extra positions um, from it. So, um, 
uh, happy he didn't get damaged or I didn't completely wipe him out. Because uh, that would have been a penalty for us if we did for sure. And now we need to try and get past Tamas and start going on the attack on Luke Smith. And try to break away from Tamas. That will be a perfect scenario if he can break the DRS to Tamas. But that's easier said than done, of course. So uh, let's see what we can do. Um, and uh, as you can see, we did set two purple, or not purple, holy smokes, uh, two green sectors. Yeah, but about, um, yeah, we didn't cost him too much. In the in the last sector is where the tire grip comes in, and that's where we lost um, quite a bit of time relative to new tires. So um, let's see if we can get past Tamas here on lap eight and start moving up the order to start hunting down that top two as Tom Manny I think has disconnected from this session so that's why um, he is gone from what was the top three uh, which is not ideal for us I would have liked to see Tom up there simply due to the fact that there's less of a chance that Ismail wins the race then and that we win the championship today there's of course one round to go after this and there is a big chance that we win the title in that one anyway, because we're quite far ahead. But yeah, I would prefer to just uh, wrap it up today as Tamas gets past us again, um, which is not ideal for us. As yeah, I just want to pull off into the distance. But he had good pace on those softs, even though they were quite old, and he wasn't making our life very easy. So here we go again on Tamas Gal into the next chicane. And this time, I hope I can stay ahead actually and not get re overtaken again. That will be fairly frustrating. Uh, three and a half seconds the gap to Ismail Fassi and Luke Smith. As you see, there's some people behind us going side by side. And lap 11 now, st still the gap to the top two, three and a half seconds more or less. I, I think our pace is not great at the moment. Uh, as we get Thomas down or inside. Uh, here in lap 11, um, most sufferers have boxed apart from Iker Bena behind us. We're stretching this thing very long, and yeah, um, now we're gonna try and stay behind Thomas. Um, kind of work together to get back to the front, although I also kind of don't want to work together because, yeah, ideally we don't have Isma or Thomas winning the race anyway, but um, Thomas had quite good pace so. Have to be careful of Nicolas Longe here behind us, who is always very fast. And now we go down the inside of Thomas again, lap 15. Uh, hard runners are starting to box now and go for a new set of mediums. Uh, hard soft possible as well, of course, but probably not the greatest strategy there is. And um, let's see if Thomas Rio takes us again here on lap 15. He doesn't and stays behind and... Yeah, you can see there actually Ismail Fassi in P5, only like 10 seconds behind. Um, and yeah, because we are using the softest compound available around Abu Dhabi, the undercut is huge. But as I always say, the bigger the undercut, the less pace you're going to have relative to people who box the the one, two, three, four, five laps uh, later. So um, the bigger the undercut, the bigger the comeback basically. And now we have come in, we got Nicolas Longe behind us, which is nice to be honest, because we could work together a little bit here and get to the front, to the field. He started last, I think so, so he's had a phenomenal um, stint so far uh, after going P16 in Q1, obviously on purpose to do a last and first challenge, but yeah, he's had a really good race so far. And now we're going to try and work together ideally a little bit. Uh, we got two people ahead of us coming out of the pits, and we go side by side actually with Jet Norgrov, who pushes a little bit of track. Um, but we're straight away gonna go down the inside again into the next left hander and try to get this position because we can't spend any extra time here behind those, all those guys. So I'm gonna use my battery to get past all of them. Uh, we got Jake leading this train actually, and we go down the inside of Valentin Brufer into the next chicane behind Jake, we're gonna get DRS and basically overtake him here. Uh, Jake on all the tires, not much he can do, he's just gonna let us go, he's not gonna fight this. And up to P8 we go, and yeah this was a great pit lap, uh, this was 
perfect, to be honest. Um, three people ahead of us, we instantly could pass them. And yeah, that's just great news for our race. We didn't get held up on a fresh set of mediums. And now we need to hunt down uh, the top seven. So yeah, purple middle sector for us there. Uh, there is quite a gap, as you can see, Tamaskal eight seconds ahead. But as I said, um, they are on all their tires. Thomas Ronar are boxing now. As we go across the line, it's not going to be another purple sector, but no need. Um, we need a lot of pace, a lot of average pace across the next six, seven laps to catch up. We don't need just one fast lap as we got Nicolas Longe going down our inside here um, and moving past. So, yeah, that's uh, going to help us recharge a little bit. Um, I kind of. Ideally, you want to repass each other every lap, but as I said earlier on, my pace was not great um, this race. I've not been practicing a lot for WR, to be honest, and kind of been jumping into it without any practice at all. Uh, sometimes an hour practice, sometimes 10 minutes of practice, so yeah, I've just kind of been doing this for, for fun. Um, <laughs> that's why I've not won a lot of races, we've just been consistently P4, P5, P3, P6. Um, as now we go on the attack on Kubeena in the next chicane down the inside. Kind of wanted to go for it there, but yeah, didn't want to take Iker out again. And now we're just going to turn on the burners to uh, get past Iker, uh, who knows he's on those older mediums. Didn't manage to stay in a DRS train or get into the DRS train. And he's just struggling on tires now, so that's not ideal for him. And Tana's gone before. Um, just over one and a half seconds ahead of us but with a three second penalty and then there's another three second gap more or less three second gap to the leaders uh, which is Ruben Pedreño, Luke Smith and our championship rival Ismail Fassi so yeah we need to catch up to them um, because I don't want to risk Ismail winning this race uh, as we go across the line it's almost another personal best for this race um, but now we've got Thomas Runner behind us as well and he is on a fresh set of medium, so uh, one lap fresher than us. Doesn't sound like much, but we are on the softest compounds, as I said. Tire wear quite high on this track. And yeah, that one lap is going to make a difference. So we are going to be in the threat for the rest of this race. And that's no ideal. So Tamas now in P4. Um, we need to try and get past him on this lap as well. He does not have DRS, so that's going to help us catch a lot here. And I expect Nicolas to get past him on the next straight. I initially thought maybe on this straight, but yeah, um, Nicolas wanted DRS on the next straight and there was no need to take a risk and go for a dive bomb in there, using a bit of my battery just to make sure uh, we're gonna pass Tamas into the next left-hander with the help of some DRS and slipstream into P5 we go and yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, at the moment um, it's Luke Smith and Ismail Fassi in P1 and P2, so big chance Ismail is winning this race. And if we finish um, P4, then that's fine. Um, because that means Ismail would only gain 13 points, and that means Ismail would have to win the next race and uh, get fastest lap in order to um, win the championship. But yeah, getting the fast lap in a league race is near impossible um, because there are usually always people boxing at the very end of the race um, to take that point away from you um, as now we are under threat from Thomas into the hairpin going into sector 2 however we're not gonna let him go this easily and you can see we're putting our burners on to get past Nicolas there uh, however now we're gonna be under threat on the next straight because we're not going to get DRS, but at this point I'm not very much interested in finishing in a good position. I just don't want Ismail or Thomas to win this race because we don't have the pace, to be brutally honest, to win this race. You can see Nicolas getting past us there, unfortunately, again. Um, but this is fine because the gap is still quite big and we're only going to have four laps to go, so I don't think we can catch the leading pack and then we just need to hope that Ismail doesn't win this race because the championship does stay alive for both Thomas and Ismail if we would finish like this. Ismail leading, Thomas before, ourselves in P6. So 
We need to either find another position um, and Ismail not to win the race or find another two positions and then we should be fine. So, yeah, tricky one. Um, three laps to go and two laps to go, sorry. And yeah, you can see the gap is getting quite small. Thomas on just one lap fresher tires and some great pace is closing in that gap quite a lot. You can see I used a bit of my battery to get up to the back of Nicolas into this final one and a half lap and you can see how strong DRS is around here. We are right with Nicolas now on this backhand and we're gonna try and go the launching attack on Thomas Ronhaar on this lap. We don't want to wait another lap and get a risk of Thomas getting DRS. We go down the inside in the next left-hander and get two positions in one go. And that was crucial for a championship. Now we just need to stay in P4 and we should be winning the title. Um, we've got Nicolas down our inside again in the next right-hander. Might just let him go. I don't want to risk anything with Nicolas, of course. we got Thomas on our outside again and this is turning in a massive scrap in the final lap of this championship into the final corner we go side by side and unfortunately got a bad exit bit of a snap a little bit of a touch as i got a huge slide out of the final corner into p5 we go again and now we need to try and stay with nicolas on this final lap and hope that ismail does not win the race because if we finish like this and ismail wins the race the championship stays alive we got barry Bormand right behind us as well putting pressure on us Thomas goes down the inside we cover it off and now we need to try and get Nicolas back again on this final lap and hope that Ismail uh, does not win the champ or win the race if we don't so you spit on my battery there to close up to Nicolas but is it gonna be enough we close the gap a little bit in the braking zone and now hope that we can get Nicolas on the next straight poor exit and my rear tires are starting to scream for help here on this final lap we're not gonna be close enough to get p4 so let's hope that Ismail does not win the race and that we can win the championship we are gonna be under threat from Thomas still on this final sector right behind us two and a half tens behind us on those one lap pressure tires and we're not gonna be able to finish p4 here and as you can see in the mini map in the bottom left Luke Smith and Ismail Fassi are fighting side by side to win this race and this is going to decide our championship right here, right now, into the final corner we go. And it's Luke Smith who has won the race. And that means we have won another WR title for the second Grazie. time on this game. Grazie. And I don't know how much we've won in total, but second time in a row on this game. We've won PSGL two times on this game. There's basically only one missing now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Ciao.